the day of Miss USA, I didn't even technically wake up because I didn't go to sleep that night. And I had an odd feeling, but I thought it was just anxiety. But I think it was some sort of intuition telling me that this might be my day. But at the moment, it genuinely just felt like I'm just scared as ever. <laughs> so I actually loved what they said. She's a soldier, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, this is cool. Okay, okay. I was in pure disbelief. And I remember just waiting to hear a duh, duh, duh. And I didn't want it to be any other state. I just wanted them to say District of Columbia. When they said it, I'm just like, let's go. I was just, I was like, okay, we're about to launch this. Listen, girl was ready to spin. Yes. So swimsuit, <laughs> I got a little bit too cocky. I decided to be weird and stick my tongue out at the camera. So I go backstage, the girls are like, why'd you stick your tongue out? And I'm just sitting here like, I have no idea what I was thinking. And I'm like, yep, they're looking like, dang girl, you're probably not gonna please. I'm like, I'm probably not. So when I was called to go to top 10 for evening out, shocked again, because I really thought that sticking my tongue out, my life was ruined. Um, and I felt like, see, now it's really going to be real because I knew that my Sherry Hill gown was a killer, unstoppable. That gown, I was like, okay, if I get to evening gown and they see my gown, fringe, gold, silver, just swaying in the wind, I was really, really, really hoping that if I didn't fall, I could make it to top five with that gown. <laughs> <laughs> literally looked like really this is the question y'all don't want to give me this question now listen i said oh we're about to get real gi jane on the stage now demi moore out here i literally was so excited it just came out so smoothly like it was meant to be and when the crowd started clapping and going crazy i was i was like okay I think I made it to top three. So now we gotta worry about the next step. But I was just, I, I guess I was focused on taking it one step at a time. But I, I felt like that was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. I'm the last person to make the top three. So I went like this, and then I went like that, and then walked over to the other side of the top three. So not cute, Deshana. Definitely not Miss USA. I'm thinking for sure I got second runner up. For sure. There is a superstition with uh, pageant girls where if your hands are on top, you're going to win. So I went and I hugged her and I remember thinking, oh, I have to put my hands on top. So I dropped my hands down and I placed them on top and she doesn't move them around. I'm like, okay, okay. Terrence J says District of Columbia and my knees gave out. Hawaii's holding my body up. If she had let me go, I would have fell to the ground. And then she backs away because she gets flowers. And then I put my hand here and put my hand here. And Pia walks up like, girl, if you don't stand up so I can put this sash on you. Catherine Hike hands me the flowers. And then Olivia Jordan goes through and puts the crown on my head. And I slowly bring my hand up and I touch the crown. And that's when I really lost it. And I was like, ah, you freaking out couldn't believe it. I'm really big when it comes to probability and I had a 1.6% chance of winning that day. So I genuinely was like probability wise it's probably not going to happen. So I didn't want to get my hopes up although at the end of the day I knew I deserved it and I knew that I would be a wonderful Miss USA. Anyway I won and I was very excited and thankful and honored and it's been a wonderful experience.